guys, <laughs> if only you knew how many times I said, hi, my name is Kenya, my name is Kenya, my name is Kenya, hello, my name is Kenya, that's pretty much <laughs> what I've been doing for the past 10 minutes. Hi guys, my name is Kenya, and I'm so excited, sorry, I'm just a little nasally, I've got two snotty nose babies that bring me all their germs. But hi, my name is Kenya. I'm super excited today to be showing you guys some fall and winter items that I just recently purchased from Shein. Uh, and if you've been shopping with Shein, or if you haven't, let me tell you now, there is a science to making sure that you get the right fit, the desired fit. Um, and that is paying attention to reviews, checking your sizes, um, and knowing your own measurements so check the size know your measurements and read the reviews okay guys stick in with me through the nasal leanness you see my reflection hey. yeah yeah those are those those are toys on the floor remember there's no perfection okay so so yeah so let's get going on these fall and winter items okay guys so initial reactions for this combination so we got the rib knit turtleneck and then we've got this pinafore corduroy and it's called ditzy floral dress um but my initial reaction is okay so this color can we talk about it for like two seconds so what i really wanted it to be is more of a tan like uh just tan tan or cream or ivory but i'm very much getting like watered down orange sickle vibes like it is like um i don't know it's orange and you guys will see later um when i compare it to some other things but also this turtleneck is super long so <laughs> i just folded it in to kind of get some of that fabric out of the way um, I got this, I believe, in a size 1XL, and it is sitting right, actually literally I can feel it right here, kind of at my belly button, so I'll probably get this a size up, but it has so much stretchiness to where, like, the rest of it doesn't feel bad, but definitely if I'm wearing it uh, alone or with something else, I want it to be longer and have more room, and it's probably, if I wore this throughout the day, would continue to ride up, so that is would be annoying also i would recommend probably with something like this that you have on a bodysuit something that you don't have to worry about pulling up the dress to pull down the shirt in regards to the dress it's weird okay so love 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 the detail woman dress let's just have a moment this is so super cute and like i'm not a super girly girl so i was like kenya that is super cute it's like dainty it's girly i love that it's paired also with um the burnt orange like color like that's so super cute but it like doesn't quite give me the form that i wanted it has this silver detail here it has this hardware that you can attach it in or detach if you would like but also it has a buckle that you can adjust the straps and i've adjusted the straps so much and it is still quite baggy and in all the wrong places it was baggy here uh, it's baggy, just, just period. I'm still just so torn though, because I like the design so much that I want to keep it. Okay. Ultimately, not the worst outfit, just not everything that I expected it to be. So, um, I do have another overall that I'll end up trying on later that I hope I like a little bit more, but I'm just like so heartbroken because I love this design. Like, I feel like so many designs are like recycled and you see it with this brand and that brand, but this is like so unique. Um, but I don't know if I can get over the bagginess. So this next item that we have is, uh, and I got it in a size 2XL. It's a plus size cold, cold shoulder solid sweater. Yeah, say that fast three times. Um, and it is super cute. It is super soft. The first thing that I just want to bring to your attention is this is the color that I was expecting this to be. So can you see the difference between this and this? It is uh, so soft. It's super cute. Look at the mid detail there. This is so super cute. And so the thing about this one that is cute is that the neckline is, is you know, just like a regular sweater. But then the shoulders are cut out. So... That is a super cute detail. So you would probably want to have like 
a cute bralette or maybe a strapless bra in order for your bra straps not to be showing but this is like so cute super soft and definitely uh will be a keeper okay guys so this next item that i have is this cute 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 corduroy skirt that has this super cute let me show you guys button detailing um and so this is what i wanted to pair with that sweater that i just showed you and it does come with a cute little belt um initial things that i've noticed is that it does have the cinching at the back so this might end up being a little bit big but with the belt um and it has belt loops uh on the front that I can use a belt for it. I may be able to, you know, cinch it at the waist. But initial thoughts is, okay, so it does have that stretch factor. Uh, even though the, the material is not very forgiving, the band right here allows for, maybe if you're bigger, for you to be able to fit in it. So hopefully that doesn't make it too loose when it comes to my body. I'm trying to think, I mean, I just love the color. It's not this burnt orange, but it's a nice staple color. Like something that, uh, you know, it will go with just about anything. Like always essential with any kind of dress, a skirt, anything. <gasps> pockets. So it has true, real pockets. Um, you know, so like, can you really go wrong? Okay guys, so here we have the cold shoulder sweater, which if I haven't mentioned already, I got in a 2XL. And then the corduroy button through um skirt and this is in a 5xl and it's like perfect i've put in it i've put in it <laughs> i've adjusted it to where it's like right up under my bra line so it comes just a little bit above my knee um but super cute outfit together um and i love that the skirt is somewhat adjustable if you know you're at thanksgiving or christmas and you've had a plate or two or maybe dessert just took you over just undo the tie a little bit and you also have that that bag um that i showed you earlier that's like kind of scrunchy to give you a little bit of room to give um right now i have on a nude bra but like i said this would be the moment for maybe a cute bralette if it has some type of detail cute or you can just opt for a um strapless bra but this is super cute um and it's cozy the top is cozy it's soft but it's also dressy. This would be super cute with some um, like short heel boots, um, like some booties, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, instead of, I wouldn't really put a long boot with it, but maybe you could pair that uh, with this outfit. And I mean, I have on, you know, just some cute little earrings. Uh, and you know, this neckline is kind of a thing on its own, but of course, if you wanted to add some chains, um, you could do that as well, but I feel super cute uh, and just the right combination of dressy and comfortable. This is something that I could literally wear all day. So it's definitely a keeper. Guys, please forgive me, okay? I had to try this one without you. Like, literally, this is so stinking cute. And, and when I tell you it's soft and comfortable and inside, same material. This is thick it's quality it's soft it can literally go with anything i did not buy this to go with this outfit but there you have it it's super cute um the one thing that i might add to it would be pockets if it has some pockets i'm just taking over the edge like yeah okay so if i couldn't get enough of this already here we have it and now you can kind of see what i was talking about about this being an orange sickle color and this being the color that i was expecting it to be so it kind of even throws off me trying to pair this with it but this is super cute it hits me right at the waist it gives me enough room like i said it's not too baggy and it has plenty of room if you want to throw on a chunk here or something um, but I would definitely wear this probably with a different type of outfit, like jeans and a t-shirt, brother, really, you could dress up with this. Um, but I love it. Okay. There's no way to close it, but it's so heavy and so comfy. It just lays, um, really well. So, okay guys. So the next item that I have for you is this cute overall dress so i have another one remember i told you i had another one and it has this cute little uh front pocket detail uh, another thing that i like about it is this gold detailing right here so that's different from this one this one has a little bit of silver but this one has cute gold detailing which i love if 
I'm having to pick between gold and silver, I would go with gold. Uh, again, it has a buckle to where you can, you know, adjust it if you need to, which I'm kind of nervous that I'm going to need to adjust this a lot. But yeah, so it has that cute little gold buckle. Um, this one is a little bit different from the one that I have on because the back is a very square line. Um, so maybe this one might have a better fit. It seems like it doesn't go down as low. Now it does have this functional zipper. So you can zip it down if you need to get in and out of it. Um, but yeah, this is super duper cute. Okay, can you not break the zipper? It's like you can't never have nothing nice. I feel like I can't hear my mom saying that. I may have a problem with the burnt oranges okay i'm like a cartoon character okay you get all the same colors i guess this is like the color of fall okay this is the fall color and i know we're headed into winter but this is the fall color and this one is different okay let me tell you why this one is different this one one the knit different pattern okay i know i have a problem this one is a different pattern also let me just tell you first thing it is a little bit thin in certain spots so you do want to make sure either you wear something up underneath it or just wear a basic bra uh, but it also has cute little tie so right here so you can tie it and then the tighter you tie it i think it'll give you kind of like a peplum effect so we're gonna see when i try this on but i'm starting to think i'm thinking that that's what it will be and then it has these really cute sleeves looks like there's plenty of room and again we've got that wide cuff now this one isn't as soft as the other sweaters uh that i've come across today but it is super cute super quality i would love this with some dark wash jeans um, and really any boots okay so this is the next two things that i paired together um so the first being this drawstring sweater which guys okay you can't really see the drawstring but it was a little bit of a letdown um again it falls um probably right at my waist um and so when i tie it it's not really as much of a peplum effect as i would like but this is so cute i mean you don't really see the main attraction of the sweater but i love how it looks with these overalls it's slightly baggy but i like it it's like a cozy nice fall feel um i just love everything about this combination um and then also if you get closer as you can see that thin part like i said you can see my skin but where it's knit uh, so that's just kind of like a design thing you can see everywhere where that design is it's a little thin but I love it. Like I said, not as soft as the other sweaters, um, but super cute. And I love this together. Um, now, the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was this overall front pocket corduroy skirt. Again, okay, well, first, before I tell you things, I don't, let me tell you what I do like. I do like the gold detailing. So I like the gold hardware. And like I said here, are the buckles. Um, that you adjust to get it the size that you want. And I'm not quite sure if it's because I got it on a 5XL, but I need to adjust, adjust, adjust to get it to be, and I almost put it all the way back at the other part to get it to be where I want it. But I freaking love this combination. Like everything about it says relaxed, comfortable, but still cute. And so here's the bag. Like I said, the back has that square detail. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, it's a little loose. Like I said, it's got the little zipper that you can zip up and down that I'm not trying to break. Um, but this is a super cute. And, you know, we'll pair this maybe with some tall boots. Um, possibly put on some necklaces. I really like these earrings with it. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Is this a keeper? Are we keeping her? It's this. Okay, so we're gonna turn this train around. I promise. We're gonna turn it around. And we're gonna start with these tie-dye athleisure shorts. Okay, so these are super cute. Let me show you the design. They're super cute. And I got these in a size 4XL. Now let me tell you guys, I did not need to get a size 4XL. This is probably one of the bigger sizes that they have, and I didn't need to get it. And let me tell you why. Because it's super stretchy, Kenya. Duh, biker shorts, stretchy. 
What I like in a biker short is the tightness, a little bit of compression at the thigh, and then also it has the waistband that will give you, you know, let it be secure at your waist. And he was not thinking about this. And all of it is stretchy. So when I put these on, uh, I'm sorry, guys, I wore these the other day. When I put them on, they just laid. And so it wasn't that compression, tightness that I really wanted from a biker short, but it was not Shein's fault, it was Kay's fault. Because like I said, you know your measurements, know how things fit, and that includes whether it stretches or not. So that's something that I definitely didn't take into effect. Um, then another item, guys, are you gonna laugh? Okay, so this is like the biker shorts, my cream and my a little bit of burnt orange had a baby. But this is kind of interesting though. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this has been like a thing. So of course you guys have seen it. So color block, okay? So we have this, but this is super cute because it's color block. So this whole sleeve is blue with a little bit of burnt orange. And then we've got the cream. It's like a white cream ivory and some burnt orange. And, but also, then you turn it around, and I've seen some people when I was reading reviews and looking at pictures, they wore it like this. So, but the way that it's gonna fall, you're gonna end up having a little bit of lower back hanging out if you wear it the you know right way, and you might have a little bit of a V going on. So you can either wear it like this, I've seen, or people have wore it like this. So the same way I was saying with these biker shorts, you can dress them up or dress them down. I have not put this on together, but I kind of want to see. It might be a fail. This is one of the better quality sweaters. Nice, heavy material. And hopefully, it's not see through. And hopefully, I love it. So, let's try on these two items together. Okay, guys. So, this is the next combination. And this is with it flipped around. So, remember how I said this sweater could be reversible. So, I am going to show you guys what it looks like the other way. This is if you wear the, what I think to be the back, as a front. And so, I mean, I do like the color combination, the fact that you don't see the burnt orange kind of mustard color, rather. Um, and I like the cuffs, but I've never been someone <laughs> to show this much skin or even just a little bit. To most people, this probably is not a lot, but it's a lot for me. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. But yeah, you could probably wear it like this with um, some high-waisted jeans, some leggings, if you're not afraid to show a little bit of skin, maybe some regular pants, I guess. Um, but yeah, I feel like half naked right now. I wouldn't wear it with these shorts, um, but we'll go over the shorts in a minute. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like turned around, <laughs> where I feel comfortable, and then we'll go over these shorts as well, okay? But yeah, this is it. We had it backwards. Maybe this is the way some people say it should be. But yeah, but it's really hard to not show a bra. Like, literally, you have to keep pulling it down just so you don't see. Yeah, my goodies. My goodies. My goodies. But I do like the sweater, though. It is really nice quality. Love the details. Really soft. It's thick. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. It looks like if somebody like was not happy with it and cut it up themselves. So that's a little weird. It's kind of like unfinished. Um, or it feels like it's unfinished. <laughs> or like your dog chewed on it or something. I don't know. But so let's flip this thing around. Okay, guys. So this is it flips around the way that makes Kenya feel a lot more comfortable. Um, but so like you can see the color block sleeves go with this little cutout of the sweater. Again, the hem of the neckline is really like weird. Um, but when you step back, it's not a bad sweater. Um, and so now my back is out, you can see. I like to put a peek, just give you a little peek. Um, and so I wouldn't pair these together, even though in theory I was like, maybe it might be cute. No, it's not cute. So let's talk about the shorts then. So the shorts, I don't know if they're supposed to be this high-waisted, but like I said, they're really big on me, so they really can be as um, high-waisted as I want them to be. Um, you could, of course, pull them down, and so then they would be uh, longer, but I don't know. I like to pull things up. I like the safety and security of the high waist. Um, and so, yeah, so it has the waist again, like I said, there is so much room 
because it is so stretchy so it's comfortable I can move but it doesn't have that compression that maybe you might want from um, a biker short uh, also I've got plenty of room in the leg part so yeah so love the design love the way it feels super soft could wear it up could wear it down could dress it up maybe in a top that's not so crazy like color block like this one but maybe something more simple um definitely comfortable to wear around the house and it is a keeper for me what we're gonna do with this sweater girl i don't know i do not know but the biker shorts it's the biker shorts for me okay can i do that again i mean like everyone's saying that it's the biker shorts for me yep. we cute Okay guys, so last but not least is this jacket that I got. It is very similar to the teddy jacket that I bought in that it has an open waterfall um, beginning. But this is like for those days when it's not as cold. When it's like, I mean, yes, could you layer it up on a cold day? Yes, you definitely could. Um, but it's just a lighter jacket. So in those days where it's like, your mama would say, don't go out there in shorts because you're going to catch the death of pneumonia. Okay, this is the jacket you put on. You put on this jacket, it's light. You could probably wear this in spring too. It's so cute. It has a cute little waistband. Um, it's kind of like a trench coat um, effect. Again, it's a nice pink color, so it'll be a nice basic. It does have this cute little button detail. Um, and it has... Uh, another button here so I'm not sure maybe you can like fold it up and that's why that would be there just so it's maybe a half sleeve instead of a whole sleeve but super cute it is on the thinner side the outside is really soft the inside slightly scratchy but super duper cute um, let me just pull it up so that you can see it but yeah this is super cute again a basic that you could layer on with you could throw on some cute white sneakers and some jeans or you could throw on some heels um, with this as well so definitely caught my eye i'm trying to get my girly factor back okay I, I am a true tomboy a lot of days a lot of times but this is something to be super pretty duper girly with so i'm going to try this on for you with one of the outfits that i paired together today Okay guys, so this is the waterfall collar drawstring lace coat and initial reaction is it's a little big like if I just stand back like it's kind of swallowing me up a little bit. Maybe if I got it a size smaller it would be better but just for the style of this coat let's say it was the right size I'd probably wear it open just kind of like as an accent to my outfit that I have on. Um, but yeah, it is definitely swallowing me up. I do like the drawstring detail. So, you know, if you do want to close it up, you can do that. Now, this is a little bit lighter, the fabric and stuff. So, you'd have to, like, fix it. And sorry, guys, it's a little wrinkled. That's how it is. But, I mean, of course, you would just steam it. And those wrinkles would come right out. But, yeah, this is just a little big on me in the arms. Uh, and everywhere. It's just like if you're a little kid and you're like playing dress up in your mom's clothes or something. But I like the style. I could do probably without the button right there. But like I said, that's probably if you want to like fold it up and then cuff that. I like the style, but it's just, it's a little bit big on me. So it's kind of hard to see, you know, to see how much I really like it. But, but yeah, open would probably be the thing. And definitely a size four. But yeah, and I love the detail effect that you could cinch it up. And you could probably cinch it up and then just tie it around back so it just, you know, stays right where you want it to be. So yeah. So this is our waterfall collar drawstring waistcoat. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me for this Shein Fall Winter Haul. Um, let me know what brands do you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know, let me know. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Would you like me to try on more jeans? Would you like me to try more accessories from Shein? Shoes, coats, what are we doing next? Are we doing misguided fashion Nova? 
let me know. Also, you can go and follow me on Instagram at mom.of.multiples. And there you can find my cutie little babies. If you don't know me personally, you can see all the photos of uh, my husband and my babies. And um, I'm just so excited to start this YouTube journey. This is just the beginning. And so stay tuned for more videos. If you could like and subscribe um, to my channel, then I would very much appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Bye.